as slow as anybody in the world on the bikes and yet when it comes to the finish they go faster than everybody gentle ride away it's at this stage of the game and I can keep up and Gary Newand lying right off giving him a couple of lengths trying to tempt him perhaps to an early move I doubt whether he'll do that both riders like to run at the line both riders like to go with a lap to go on the track it's what you wouldn't see that sort of move on a track of 333 meters but this velodrome here in Barcelona is 250 built for the 1984 world championships which was a great series and has turned out to produce uh, a historic series for Australia, and that's for sure, in these Olympic Games. I know that there are now thousands of you tuned in to these cycling events, because we are getting messages almost daily back here, and that the riders have done themselves proud. Ready to walk out tonight with three goals, and they haven't finished yet. Uh, three silvers, I beg your pardon. A little bit presumptuous there, but it might be three gold. It might be four. Well, I tell you, when you start to go onto the wall there, which is 41 degrees, and you're going this slow, it's time for the legs to start knocking, because if you let the pressure come off the chain at all, then you'll fall down that wooden slope and get the wood, wood burn down your arm. And that is probably why Fiedler has come off the banking. At this stage of the sprint, you're allowed to ride on the Cote d'Azur, the blue ribbon. And as they roll into the home straight, probably come onto the wood. Thank you, Gary, for proving me right. He's come up onto the wooden boards. As he's following his man, they remind me of giant cats as they stalk their prey. Later on, when the floodlights come on, they watch shadows, but right now there aren't any shadows. They've got to watch their man. That's why that Fiedler is screwing his head round as far as he can. He probably wishes he was an owl right now, and he could turn his head all the way. Now, we're over the finishing line. Two to go. You're allowed to now stop if you can. But Fiedler happy to continue in fact attempting to draw Gary forward a bit might be even drawing him forward a lot because he's getting up a little bit of speed on the banking there one and a half laps to go Fiedler might try a long one because he thinks he's faster than Gary Newon Newon has got his slipstream and he is going to go for a long one he's starting to wind up he's making sure where he is he's trying to stop him coming through inside that red spinders line at the bell Fiedler using his same tactic he's used throughout these games he's got the inside he's going fast he doesn't want to drop inside just yet but he will when he comes out and Newon going long and wide and now he decided to check himself and see if he can come off Fiedler's wheel here. Now Newon's going to go. And Newon's going to go. He's coming for Oh, dear me, on the line. I think Fiedler will have taken that by the width of his tyre. I think it was a faster one. 10.484. It was very, very, very close. Newon had a tremendous kick in that last 10 metres or so and pushed his bike forward. But we'll have to look at that again when we get chance in the slow motion replay. It was a tremendous sprint from Niwon. Fiedler is fast, though. 10.995 for the last 200 metres. That in itself has been beaten here. Now let's have a look at this and see who won it. Best of three, remember. Fiedler, the same tactics. A long run at the line over a lap. And Niwon clearly coming quicker as the line comes towards him. The last few kicks here by Gary Niwon is bringing that bike closer and closer and closer. It's close, but I would give it to Niwon. And on that picture, there is no doubt about it. So, sorry, I said Niwon Jens Fiedler will go one up in the match for the gold medal. Gary Niwon now must win the next two matches. Winds it up. Father Ron will be on the edge of his seat. Comes down the back straight. The crowd are equal here. There's a tremendous Australian following, and there's a tremendous German following. Now they're getting a little bit naughty, but the big sprinters and a little bit of a revenge shoulder push there to Gary Newon, just to remind him that he's every bit as strong. And Fiddler's gone. Gary's going to have to go very, very fast now because Jens Fiedler has opened up the gap as he came off the bell there, and I think he's going to go. Newon, he hooks it. Oh, and it was close. And you know, there might even be a protest there. I would like to see that in slow motion. But it looks as though Gary may be accepting it. I don't know. I'd like to see that home run again. Because Niwon came up so fast on the line. He was clearly faster than Fiddler in that last few meters. 
and it looked to me as though Fiedler might have tried to deliver a little hook in the last 10 meters and that might be grounds for a protest the referees have been extremely hard here now let's have a look again there was the hook down from Fiedler that was a reminder to what Gary did I think a little bit earlier pulled out a lot of lengths but just look at the speed of Niwon here he closes this right down as he comes around this bend now he comes out now this is what we watch for there's the little hook as he comes up a little bit and he gets it on the line I think but I wonder if uh, they would take that as a series and that's the gap that may have cost the gold medal to Gary Niwon or at least a chance at it in the rerun this is now let's this is the angle we should watch watch the red sprinters line now there he comes off it and delivers a little bit of a hook now, for me, I would call a rerun in that race, not a disqualification, but, but a rerun, because I think it would be the first decision. And I am an international referee at the highest level, but I'm not the referee here at the Barcelona Games, and who knows what the judges will do down there, because they made some strange ones, I must say. And there we see Gary Niwon, and they have just this second announced, and that's why he's very upset. They've announced, in fact, the winner will be Jens Fiedler, as, it, as he was, he crossed the line first. And in addition, they have given a serious warning for moving off his line to Gary Niwon. Well, I can only assume that was in the early part of the sprint. And so Gary Niwon has won the silver medal. He's bitterly disappointed about this, uh, but you know, I, I think it's a strange decision to give him a serious warning, as they've put it in French here for moving off his line at the back. He must have been at the back early on because I think it was equal uh, right down the line all of the way and the best result would have been a rerun there. But nonetheless, Gary Niwon has won the silver medal for Australia tonight. He's disappointed, but I think we're all extremely happy that another silver medal for the cyclist is in the bag. Well, Gary, commiserations. I mean, it was a tough race. First up, can you explain to us what sort of went on in that last 100 metres? Well, before we started uh, racing, Thomas here said they were going to be strict on the uh, sort of rules and everything that the riders uh, were doing out there. And um, from what I understand, I moved line, moved my line a bit too much, and uh, they took it off me because of that. But later, I, I found out anyway that I'd lost on a uh, photo finished anyway. So uh, the photo finish was against me, and also the uh, the rulings of the race. Well, a proud moment for you, though. I mean, your whole family was here, your fiance. I mean, the setting was set, and I mean, you must be pleased. I'm very happy. Yeah. Uh, Silver medal. It's uh, you know any any, any medal is great. Uh, this sort of competition, um, but in 20, 30 years time, people won't remember the one winner. But um, you know we'll wait and see what happens next year and even maybe next Olympics. Okay.